Hi everyone, thanks for watching my video. You're probably here because I sent you a link and you have absolutely nothing better to do with your life right now. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for uh, watching. And uh, this is my latest project, a bicycle wheel clock that I also added LEDs to. So what I used was an old bicycle rim um, that was no longer in service, came on one of my older bikes. Um, I, I bought a big handed clock mechanism uh, and an RGB LED kit that's actually controlled by a cool remote control. Uh, I'll show you step by step, kind of, how I built this. Uh, come along, enjoy this, and enough of, enough of the intro, let's get cracking. Today I'm starting, and I don't think I'll finish today because I got to paint and everything. So, what I have is this old bike wheel. I've taken out the axle and cleaned out the, where the bearings went. So I'm going to use this. Basically what we're making is a taking an old rim. I'm going to paint this. Numbers that are going to go on it. And I have the clock mechanism which is going to go there. And I have an old cog that's going to go like that. And the hands go like that. And then I also have an LED light kit. It's got the remote, and basically the main reason why I got it is because I want it to go to softly glow from one color, transition to the next color. See how this works. I've never used these before. Uh, so we'll see how, how well I can hi I hook this up and hide it. The whole key is to have this hanging on the wall and not have, not, you know, obviously I'm not, you're not going to see wiring and stuff like that. So I'm going to hot glue. The reason why you take out the axle is because you have a, a good solid place to glue that to. And then I'll also be gluing this to this. I've uh, used, you know, like brake cleaner and stuff and gotten all the grease and dirt and everything off of that. So I'll hot glue that to it too. And that will be on the wall. Here we go, just to show you, we got um, the whole thing I'm going to be using for this is right there, it says fade, there's different fades. So that one, you see they're just fading from one color to another, I really like that, I think it'll look good on the back side of that. Alright, starting taping up the each spoke so I can spray the, spray the rim white. So I'm taping up the spokes just to so I don't paint them white. So I got all, all, all those to do. Okay, all done. And I'm gonna wipe it down with acetone and give it its first shot. Super light coat. I'll let this dry and then I'll move it into the house where it's uh, less humid. Clips I'm going to use for the, this is the best thing I could come up with at the hardware store. Remove the nails and then at an angle I'm cutting off one side so I'm left with a clip that looks like this. So then you drill, I drill a hole, put it right there. Basically, just approximate out where your hole goes to the edge of the edge of the rim, and then the LEDs will slide up underneath it and be held all the way around. I always order the ones with the silicone on the front because they're easy to work with. They're easy to 
um, you know, you don't have to worry about snapping or breaking or damaging them. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do every other spoke. So it's 36 spokes in this wheel, so I'll be doing 18 clips. That's all of them. I'm going to grab the LEDs and see what... This is going to be a little bit of a challenge, I think. Getting this on here. Right there, you can see the little scissors with the copper. Those are the four conductors. So you can cut it every three LEDs. Actually, have that much left over. You can probably do two wheels. Actually, you could do two wheels. So what I'm going to do now is just plug this in just to make sure we're. So that's what it'll look like on the wall. Had a nice soft glow behind it, fading in and out to all the colors. It's got backing on the back too, so pull that off and see if I can get that to stick. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm pulling the tape out and then coming down and lightly pull the tape out and lightly pressing down on the LEDs and I'm actually getting them to sit very well along the back. So I'll do that all the way around. See how it goes. I may wrap some painter's tape around here. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I went ahead and I wrapped this with uh, painter's tape so that I so I could get the LEDs to make sure that once I peeled off the adhesive on the back of the... Okay, got this, which is the plate, um, painted, and I got the hook in there and I drilled the hole, put a nut on the back of it, got those mounted in there, so that's the power, and that's the, uh, I think I've got it mounted on the wrong side, yeah, I need the power over here, ah, damn it. Okay, now we're back. So I painted this to match the wall. Put the hook on, drilled a hole. Put the hook on, got the IR emitter or receiver and the power for the LED lights. So now I'm going to connect that to there and mount that up there. And then I can actually 
mount the clock up there. Let's kick the remote on. Let me turn the lights off. There we go. Look at that. Perfect.